Good morning, guys. Yo. And happy Thursday. We are not on the way to work. Um, it is five past eight and we're in the car. Basically, uh, I've got a hospital appointment today and because it's a Thursday and that's John's day off, I decided to take the day off for it. Spend some time with my favorite person in the world. That's him, in case you didn't know. <laughs> nothing too worryful or strenuous it's just a kidney thing uh, I'm more worried the fact that they're taking blood today and I am a difficult bleeder I don't like shark I'm fine I'm not scared of needles at all but it's just my blood doesn't like to flow that quickly and after a while it stops and they do that horrible thing or trigger warning they do that horrible thing where they wiggle the needle to try and get more blood out of you and that really bloody hurts John's urging and he's not even having to go through it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just me that they're doing it to. Yeah, but you want me to come in with you? Oh, it's boring. When you sat there for 20 minutes and they're trying to get blood out of you, it's boring. It's not much cop for me either, but. At least you have a conversation rather than the nurse going, oh, I'm just going to wiggle it a little bit more. Ugh. Anyway, so that's what we're doing and then we're going to go into the city centre because we need to get John's mum a birthday present. And. I need dry shampoo, because that's the exciting life we lead. Right, we're on a roundabout, extreme close up. Uh, um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, are we getting coffee? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting coffee. So hospital appointment done, relatively easy. Now we are in Truro on the search for a birthday present. Hey guys, so currently walking around TK Maxx, trying to convince John to buy some short shorts. He's having none of it. Who wears short shorts? John Beach wears short shorts. Okay, so I'm in the new look changing rooms. I'm not sure about this dress. What do you think? Socks don't really go. <laughs> shop again it's our new obsession we love it there yo yo <laughs> okay um, Polish shop done kind of didn't time it very well they have their their delivery hadn't been yet so it was a bit limited on what we could get but we did get some stuff I'll show you when we get home but yeah it is like 20 past 12 we're going to uh, go home and see the poopies and uh, we just picked up some sandwiches in the polo shop, so have some lunch. And we are home, and we're gonna have some lunch. Hey guys, before I do some lunch, I'm gonna quickly show you what we got in the polo shop, just because we're gonna eat some of it, so I'll show it you. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is what we got. It came to the grand total of nine pounds and 12 pence. We got these two, um, two of these sandwiches, which have got like cheese and salami and a little bit of salad or it might be a gherkin I'm not sure but we got two of those and um, we got two of these donuts these are like the donuts we were eating for breakfast when we were on holiday in Poland they were reduced because they're yesterday's and then this other cakey donut thing got some cheese spread this stuff is yummy um, the first time we went we got the cheese and ham last time we got cheese and chive they only had the plain flavor but it's still good so we got that we got a pack of these biscuits that I'm slightly addicted to and then we got a pack of kielbasa sausages um, I think this is pork and cheese flavour yeah. yeah, they do loads of different flavours all of these sausages were like £3.50 
£3.68 for that full pack of sausages, which is crazy. It's such a bargain, that shop, and everything is yummy. Giddy's trying to have a sniff. Okay, so it is lunchtime. We've got these sandwiches that we picked up from the Polish shop. They are like salami and cheese and the salad. And then we have splits. A bag of these sea salt and chardonnay crisps from the co-op. Yum. This one, where are you going? Are you tired? Are you tired? He's smiling. So, boys have had a run. Tried to get some footage, but it's all a bit quick, so I don't know if I've got any. Well, yeah, um, we're gonna have a coffee and watch some telly. Well that was a bit of drama for a random Thursday. Um, I don't know if you can see my top. Uh, Gilly's ripped both his front pads. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> on the carpet, on my top, on Gilly. Um, I've stopped the bleeding. He doesn't seem that bothered by it. John's cleaned the carpet. I'm going to go and wash my top and try and get the blood out of it. And we're just going to keep an eye on him, because obviously if it starts bleeding again, or uh, aggravating him, we might have to go to the vets. But Give me. I think he's just made that worse. Hey guys, so Killy's doing a lot of licking of his poorly pads. Poor thing, but he's alright. John's got a sore hip, so he's decided to have a quick bath. I have ordered us a cheesy takeaway, because... Why not? Life's short. Um, but also, I think I'm going to record a quick haul video because I've just realised I haven't got a video prepared for tomorrow. Even though I'm quite sure I might have something that I've already recorded. It needs editing. But I'm going to do a little quick haul video of the things I've purchased today. And it's tea time. And it's an unhealthy one. Um, we've had... Uh, Chip shop. John's got a chicken kebab with salad and we've split a large chips. And I ordered a jumbo sausage but I've got two little ones and curry sauce. Well that was a little bit stressful. Due to have the food shopping come tomorrow, I put a good 60-75% of it in a basket but I hadn't finished it. So I went on to finish it and there are no delivery slots left for Friday or Saturday and there was only two slots left on Sunday which is really weird because normally I can do it on a Thursday night and it's still there's loads of slots left on a Friday so I don't know if it's because it's some holidays or if they've lessened the slots or if it's just a fault on the system but that was a bit stressful so we're going to do our first ever click and collect but John's going to do it by himself but I don't know if I'm meant to be there to do it, but I've given, sent John the code, so we'll see how stressful it is. Because it is a, a smidge cheaper because you're not paying for delivery, but it means that John has to do all the checking and things rather than me. But I found that very stressful because it's a lot different to my normal routine. But yeah, I'm going to watch some telly now. <laughs> 